<sighs> Self-taught versus degree. Which one should you do to become the best data scientist or data analyst that you can be? It's the eternal debate and it's been going on for years now. So I thought I'd throw my two cents in. Why might I be a good source? Well, I basically did both. Why would I do both? Well, rewind the clock a little bit. In 2020, I was meant to start my master's in data science and AI. Then obviously COVID happened, so I had to defer my entry by a year. So in that year, while I was waiting, I decided to sign up on DataCamp and do a couple of their courses. So in that way, I was self-taught. And I've just finished my learning year of my master's in data science and AI. So I've experienced doing both. So today we're going to talk about what the advantages of each one of these is. Yeah? Let's check it out. Advantage number one of being self-taught. Money, money, money. Yeah. Depending on what country you're in, you're probably going to have to pay for your degree. I know in the UK here, it's 9k if you're from the UK and for international students that can go to 18,000, 20,000 plus per year. And in America, I think it goes even higher. I know a few countries in Europe, you get free education, but let's just assume you're in a country where you have to pay for your education. On the other hand, self-taught can literally be free if you check on YouTube, or you can get a course for 40 bucks on Coursera, or do like I did and go on DataCamp, which was just over 100 bucks. So obviously, if you do self-taught, you're saving a bunch of money. So in many ways, your financial situation might determine which one is best for you. But an advantage of the traditional route, structure, structure, structure. So if you're studying a degree, that degree has been set up hopefully by professionals or professors who are in the industry who know exactly what skills you need to pick up to become the best data scientist or data analyst that you can be. And the thing is you're forced to do every single module in a degree so you pick up the skills in a certain order and it forces you to learn these skills in order to go to the next stage. Compare this to the self-taught method where yes many of them like DataCamp do have a recommended structure that you can go through but you can easily skip around so there's that temptation where if you're stuck on a certain topic you're like I could just leave this topic for now go to the next one and then come back to this one later but we know the truth you're not coming back to it you're, you're just gonna be like yeah it's fine yeah also, if you're doing an unstructured way, such as YouTube, it could just be that you don't know which of the concepts are important and which ones are not. So you might end up spending too much time on a certain concept which isn't really applicable in the real world or not focusing on something which is vital. So the structure of a degree there is really important. But now the flip side of that is one of the biggest advantages of being self-taught is the flexibility it provides. You study it when you feel like it. So that means you can fit it around your current studies, around your social life, whenever you feel like it basically. That allows you to go as fast or as slowly as you want to. And you can look at topics that you're struggling with more or breeze through what you're good at already. And if you already know what areas are considered important for a data scientist, you can just focus on those areas and really drill down and get amazing at those ones. So for example, my master's was in data science and AI. But I've always known that I want to go down the data side. But to pass my degree, I obviously had to learn the AI side as well. But if that was a self-taught, I could have used the time I was learning AI in order to drill down further onto the data side and get better at that. On top of that, in your degree, you move as fast as the professor decides you go. So if you need extra time, you're probably going to fall behind the class. And depending on your professor, some don't want you to go too fast either. But on the topic of deadlines and whatnot, this is one of the biggest advantages of a degree. Okay, let me expand on that. It's the concept of forced feedback, which, okay, let me put it simply, you have deadlines, you have grades. When you're self-taught, for example, on data camp, there is the tendency to just keep pushing forward even if you're not doing that well, because you can just ask for hints when you're stuck and they will solve the rest of it for you, basically, they spoon feed you. So at the end of the thing, you think that you've learned the concept and you keep moving forward and forward and forward, going, yeah, I think I know that. And I would know because I did that. This is not too bad at the start, but as you keep going, if you keep doing this, keep asking for hints, thinking you've grasped concepts when you haven't, you're gonna have a very shaky foundation by the time you reach the end. Compare this to a degree where every week or two you have a piece of coursework due that is graded so you know exactly where you stand and what areas you need to improve on. It can be a bit of a wake-up call, but it's very important. This also means that degrees have an external motivation because of the money you've already committed and also because you're getting these grades that you need to keep up in order to pass the degree. On the other hand, for self-taught, you've either committed no money or just a, a few hundred bucks, if that. So you can get a little bit less motivated. So you need that intrinsic drive if you're going to succeed with a self-taught route. Another advantage of self-taught is that you can start working on projects when you want. So as you go along, you can think to yourself, okay, let me Google a few projects that I can do with my current skill set. Or you can even just think of a project and you can pause, 
you're learning and instead focus on the projects for a little bit. And like I said, this helps you solidify the skills that you've learned a lot more. But compare this to a master's degree. The amount of times I've been like, okay, let me just finish this coursework, then I can do this project I'm really excited to work on. But right as you start working on this, it's like, hey, another piece of coursework is due. So in that way, you don't have that flexibility to pursue the project that you want when you want. But the flip side of that is that with the degree, you do have built-in projects essentially in this coursework. But on the other hand, on the self-taught route, you have that tendency to just keep going straight through the whole thing without doing any projects. So it's a bit of a 50-50 there. And if the cost is the biggest plus for being self-taught, the biggest plus for a degree is the weight of the qualification. Okay, so online you see a lot of people saying that your degree doesn't matter, it's what you can do that matters. And that's absolutely true when you're actually working. But to get your foot in the door, it's a little bit different. It's hard to deny that many employers still care about your degree, especially at the entry level. This is because, like I said, with an online course, you could literally just press next, next, next and still get the qualification. So a lot of employers may be a bit hesitant to hire somebody who doesn't have a degree. Obviously, this can be counteracted by having an impressive portfolio. And generally, as you go further into your career, your actual degree matters less and less. But to start off with, the degree does help. And some companies even have that auto filter when you're applying where you have to put your highest level of education. And I think probably they're looking for a certain minimum level of traditional education just to filter out people who don't qualify. So with a degree, you have that advantage of having that. Right, let's get a little bit more quick fire with these last couple. So with a degree, you have more potential for asking for outside help. This can be from the lecturer who can at times give you one-to-one -one help which is not an option when you're doing a self-taught degree. Or you can ask your classmates for help on certain topics or just little help. You know, teamwork makes the dream work and all that. And working in a team, potentially with classmates, gives you an idea of what it will actually be like to work on a real data science team. And when doing a degree, of course, you get the general university life where you get to go on nights out, meet up with people, and, you know, that's pretty fun. Whereas being self-taught, it can get a little bit isolated. Some other advantages of self-taught, you have location flexibility, so you can study pretty much from wherever you want, whereas most degrees are transitioning back to being in person. And with self-taught, you also have automatic acceptance, whereas for a degree, you have to apply to a uni and hope that they take you in. So that's a little advantage. So these are a few of the things you keep in mind when applying to do a degree, but comment anything else you should consider. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.